Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. Alright guys, another day, another video for the K20 Pro and in today's video, we are going to talk about a ROM which all of you have been requesting since quite a long time. We are talking about Corvus OS. Now, this ROM using a OSS vendor which means it is not using the MIUI vendor and I have used it just before I restarted the channel. It seems like quite a good ROM but there were a few bugs here and there. So in today's video, we are going to quickly see how to go ahead and install this particular ROM because it is an OSS vendor, are there any special steps that are required and once that is done we will boot into the ROM and we will have a first look first impressions and make sure if the basics are working or not now before we do all of that as you might be knowing we are looking for a small crowdfunding for the Poco Phone F1 we are planning to buy a used Poco so that we can get the videos back to the channel and if we can do that with your help that would be great and once the phone is about to retire we will go ahead and give it away let me know your thoughts in the comment section now without further ado hello awesome people Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Alright guys, so welcome to another install and preview on Smartphone Tutorials. Today we're going to flash Corvus OS. A little background on this particular ROM. We are flashing the latest build which is version 8.5 dated 25th of August and it does come with the latest security patch and Android 10, of course. Now this ROM is a OSS vendor based ROM. So it is a little different. It also uses a Mi 9 F4D, but still you will still have to back up everything Make sure that your phone has more than 50% battery. You will need the MIUI vendor file. You will need the ROM file. And if you wish, you can use Magisk and F2FS file system as well. But in this video, what we're going to do is first things first, I was on Resurrection Remix. We can use a decrypt zip to decrypt the ROM, but I prefer to have a super clean install because I wish to review the ROM for you guys. That is the reason we will first go to manage partitions select data tick mark format data and hit yes okay now once that is done you would want to go to reboot and select recovery you just need to go to wipe select dalvik cache system vendor data internal storage now i choose to wipe everything if you are more comfortable or you want to do a dirty flash and things like those it's completely your call but as far as i know a clean install like a super clean install like this although it is a lot of hassle like backing up moving the files to the computer and moving it back to the phone it gives you a very very good experience now as you can see over here the cable that i have connected is a usb otg so i do have a pen drive connected with all the files so we'll go here we'll go to mount and we will mount usb storage if it is not mounted and over here select the usb otg so what we will do now is first we will go ahead and flash the MIUI vendor. This is the one and then add to queue and select Corvus swipe to flash. It's more than two gigabytes of data to be flashed to the phone. So it will take anywhere between five to seven minutes. So please be patient while that happens. All right. So once everything is flashed, you can wipe cache and you can reboot and go to system. So let's see over here how the Corvus boot animation actually looks. Well, it does look pretty, pretty good. It is something like what Resurrection used to be back in the day, very, very flashy and shiny. But we will wait for the phone to boot and we will skip through the setup. And then let me run you through what the ROM features are real, real quick. All right, so we have booted up to the home screen and as you can see over here, we already have a very, very smooth interface. All right, so first things first, let's quickly go to settings. Let's go to about phone. And as you can see, some fun stuff over here. I have used this ROM in the past. This is of course Android 10 Corvus 8.5. This is the maintainer's name. Uh, some small mistake over here it says 5 gb 128 gb instead of 6 128 we do have uh, android security patch of august so that is pretty pretty good but yeah this is the latest version of corvus now if we have a look over here we have a theme section over here so yes you can customize a lot of things uh, let me see if i can get the dark system theme 
you have a lot of options you have something like baked green choco x and a few other things so let's go to google dark and other things so yeah the theme section is good but this is where the customization magic happens this is the raven's liar or yeah that's what it says you have notifications miscellaneous lock screen items fingerprint preferences all the customization available but from the first look of it it looks very very smooth and very very promising now let's have a look at the camera situation over here i think this is anx camera bam so that is a good thing that is a big big plus for me if the rom boots with anx camera built in i mean i did get a force close over there i think it is just a permissions thing let's go ahead and give it all the permissions it needs yep there you go so yeah anx camera works let's quickly try to dial 198 and see if we have call recording over here no so we don't have built-in call recording and stuff but that's completely fine because i am going to use this rom as my daily driver uh, not much to discuss in the initial impressions but yes i can clearly say that this can be used as a daily driver if you cannot wait till the time i actually go ahead and review the rom you can definitely give it a try because all the basic things that are needed are working just fine and you should have no problem plus it does boot with anx camera built in so all in all it looks like a very very promising rom and we will check the fingerprint the auto brightness wi-fi calling and all the other amazing options in the full review but until then keep smiling take care this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials goodbye